The All Saints Anglican Church held a cross bun sale earlier today. Here's Michael Kahn with a feature on the origin of the cross bun. A hot cross bun is a spiced sweet bun made with currants or raisins marked with a cross on the top and traditionally eaten on Good Friday in the British Isles, Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, Canada and India. The buns mark the end of the Lent and different parts of the hot cross bun have certain meaning, including the cross representing the crucifixion of Jesus and the spices signify the spices used to embalm him at his burial. Earlier today, the All Saints Anglican Church in New Amsterdam held its traditional cross buns sale in front of DTV 8, where members of the public had the opportunity to purchase cross buns baked by various members of the parish. The official blessing was done by Father Garfield Devalier. Gracious Father, we thank you on this day of your creation. We thank you most of all for spirit life. Father God, we ask that you bless these gifts that we are about to be sold to the public and to members of our church and to the wider community at large. Father God, we ask that you bless those who have made them. May they cross more in life by serving you with peace and love. Bless them and guide them. Let your blessing be upon us so we can cross for more in life and give you praise and thanks throughout this day and for the rest of our life. In Jesus' most precious name we pray. Amen. Blessing and God Almighty Father, Son, be upon this God, and all those who sin. In Jesus' name. English folklore includes many superstitions surrounding hot cross buns. One of them says that buns baked and served on Good Friday will not spoil or grow moldy during the subsequent year. Another encourages keeping such a bun for medicinal purposes. A piece of it given to someone ill is said to help them recover. The first definite record of hot cross buns comes from a London street cry Good Friday comes this month, the old woman runs with one or two a penny hot cross buns. Michael Kahn, Channel 8 News.